Okay, this or that. Let's see if I can get these. Okay, that is severe nodular cystic acne. Poor guy, we can do a lot of things for that, like isotretinone in a very safe way, low daily dose nowadays, but a vitamin A derivative called isotretinone is often used for more severe acne. Next one. That uh, looks like these erythematous plaques on the cheeks and nose, very well demarcated and not involving the nasolabial fold. So that looks like acute cutaneous lupus erythematosus, which we see as the malar rash, that red rash, sometimes confused with rosacea. We certainly see rosacea more often. Let's see, that one looks like ichthyosis. That is a genetic skin disease that makes the skin look like fish scales. So you get these little polygonal plates of skin on your trunk, particularly on your lower leg. Legs. Ichthyosis has many different variants, the most common one being ichthyosis vulgaris. Now, ichthyosis is caused by a deficiency in a protein in our skin called filaggrin, a protein that exists in our skin that's supposed to hold water in. If you don't have that filaggrin, water tends to evaporate out of your skin. It can't stay in. Treatment includes regular use of emollients, including those that break down skin. So we call those keratolytic emollients like amlactin or CeraVe with salicylic acid. Acid, that's the CeraVe SA lotion. Those can be very helpful and it tends to improve as you get older. People with ichthyosis have more lines on their palms and soles. So that's a nice clue. If you want to see more, go to part two.